feel like a lot of people are very intimidated when it comes to meditation. We're not taught it in schools. We're not taught it anywhere growing up. We don't in the Western world really know what it is or how phenomenal the results of being consistent about it can be. So there's like this fear of the unknown surrounding it and I hope today with this video I can help debunk some of that. Hey guys, what's up? Savannah here from Blissful Bohemian Holistic Health for the Modern Day Hippie. If you're new to my channel, welcome! Hello, I'm a chemical engineer, AVA certified personal trainer, and your holistic health guru. Today we are talking about meditation. Why to do it, how to do it, when, what the heck is going on, how do I silence all these voices in my head and all these incessant thoughts which is actually kind of the point of meditation. Today I'm filming on my couch with my amazing new tapestry that I just put up. Doesn't it look amazing? I'm so excited about it. So you hear a lot in the news, in a lot of successful people, that they accredit a lot of their inner peace and just calmness and ability to achieve and attract amazing successes and things and fulfillment into their life, that their secret weapon is meditation. But what actually is that? What does it look like? Why is it so fundamental to these incredible people? So let's start with the what. What is meditation? Simply put, meditation is thoughtless awareness. So you're completely conscious of everything around you, what you're feeling as you're breathing, maybe even noises around you, but you're not necessarily having thoughts, which is kind of weird because like, how can you not have thoughts? How can you just turn it off and it's not even necessarily that you're turning your thoughts off it's more so that you're letting that thoughts come and go and not really stay and take root in your mind so by doing this what you're doing is training yourself to let things come and go and to not be bothered by them and you're creating this space within yourself within your mind and your core that is undisturbable. So when should you do meditation? I recommend doing it even five minutes a day. Maybe if you're a super beginner, you don't know what's going on, you can start with even just two minutes a day. What matters more than the length of what you're doing is the consistency and that you're doing it every day. So I recommend picking a time that you're relatively free at every single day. So maybe the morning, at lunchtime, in the evening and really committing to getting it done every single day because a lot of people say, oh, I don't have time to meditate. And that's kind of crazy to think about because meditation is one of the most productive things that you can do. It clears your mind, it gives you a sense of inner peace and centering, kind of like traveling inward and looking at yourself and kind of gauging where things are at so that you can work and perform better during the day. I don't wanna hear, oh, I don't have time to meditate. Like you have, everybody has two minutes in their day to look inward and just be quiet and just be, just exist. No thoughts, nothing to do, just letting things come and go and learning to let things be. If you watch my channel, if you know anything about me, I do struggle with anxiety a bit and meditation every single day is probably the number one thing that helps that even more than a good diet and exercise, which is kind of surprising. We forget to check up on ourselves and meditation provides the opportunity for us to do that. So that's why I recommend it every single day. And ultimately, like I said, what you're doing is creating this space within you that you can return to maybe when things aren't going your way, when things aren't going well for you. So if you're having a bad day, but you meditated that morning, you checked up on yourself, you had that moment of thoughtless awareness where you were quiet, you let things come and go, that space that you created, you're gonna be able to return to Maybe if like someone at work is pissing you off and you don't want to get angry, you're gonna have, cause like who wants to get angry? Like who wants to get worked up about something? I mean, some people like drama, but I personally don't and a lot of you guys don't. When you meditate, you have that space to return to. So instead of running to anger, you can learn just like you practice, cause meditation is a practice to let things come and go. Let, let the anger come, feel it, and then let it go. How do you meditate? I'm gonna link my blog post down below where I go through the steps of how to meditate, like how to sit, how to 
breathe, how to get into it, what you've been thinking. Um, but there are lots of apps, and this video is not sponsored, but there are lots of apps. I like to use one called Simple Habit that has a guided meditation for people who have a really hard time reining in their thoughts and just kind of quieting the mind. So I'm going to link that down below. Um, it's like five to 20 minute guided meditations where it teaches, it tells you like when to breathe, when what to think kind of things. And lastly, where do you meditate? Where can I meditate at? A quiet place or not. It doesn't really matter. Just anywhere that you can close your eyes for a few minutes and be still, be quiet, and kind of just turn your focus inside because a lot of us are just on the go constantly. We're like looking at this external world with so many things going on and so many things that have to be done and this illusion of busyness. I hope this video helped you guys. <laughs> Me rambling about what the heck is going on. Check out that blog post, check out Simple Habit and I encourage you heavily to start meditating even if you don't know what the heck you're doing. You owe it to yourself to create that inner peace and strive towards that sort of zen lifestyle, I guess. So I'll see you guys next week. Love you so much. Thanks for watching. I'm going to put other videos on the next little slide, so check them out. And if you're not part of the Facebook group community, come join us. It's a lot of fun if you're into holistic health. Subscribe, like the video, all that jazz. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.